Right guys, so we're just going downstairs into the basement and already we're getting fluctuations on the K2 meter. That K2 meter is going absolutely crazy. And there's no magnets there guys. No magnets. All legit, everything you see on this channel is legit. Malevolent spirits. Evil. Take the power from my phone to be able to play with these gadgets. If so, it's okay. I don't mind. Can you, sir, can you make it go in a circle? There we go, that's fantastic. Keep going. Keep going. Use your energy. Use the energy. The energy was going down into the pendulum from my body. Use that energy and make that engine go in a circle. Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Zerbex in Yorkshire Paranormal. Do you recognise this place? I'm going me back at you. With a revisit to the children's home in uh, Rotherham. This time, I'm going to explore it. So I'll pick it back up when we get in there. Yeah, so when I said I'd come back to explore it, what I meant was i come back to do Paranormal with Ryan Rampage. I've already explored this place with the uh, Explore Nation, Sazzy and Tom. So I've done a return trip um, with Ryan Rampage to uh, show him what it's all about. So I'll pick it back up in a minute. Right, so we're in, we've got the light on. Can't beat a bit of the all light, can you, Ryan? No, you can't. It's better than my phone light, isn't it? <laughs> so, to be honest, mate, it doesn't look like no one's changed in here. Yeah. Uh, shitloads of dust. Roof's yeah, roof's caved in. Uh, I'm not going to bother going upstairs on this one because I've done it. Uh, highly recommend Ryan to go right up to the top, boy. He's got to do it. It's his first visit. Um, whew. But yeah, nothing's changed. Literally nothing. It looks the same from when I last came. Um, can't remember how you get to the basement. Right here. Ah. So, I mean, if you want to check the rest of the place out before we go to the basement. Yeah, we'll go to the basement last. I'll go upstairs first. Yeah, you want to go check that out. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, well, I might as well just follow him, haven't I? But yeah, we're here for a, a second explore. First paranormal in this place. So I'm actually going to do um, a bit of meditating before I start. So I'm going to hand torch over to Ryan and just wait downstairs for him. So I'll pick it back up in basement. Right guys, so we're just going downstairs into the basement and already we're getting fluctuations on the K2 meter. Um, everyone should remember this. I remember when we first came down, uh, we were sort of wondering. This looks like a cell. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Oh mate, look at this. Come here quick. That's hitting. What in the world? He was getting nothing upstairs. No, that's something in the basement. It's going all red. It's going wow. to red, mate. Um, that looks like a cell in there. If you remember me saying, if you just shine, shine torch around here, so I can see what I'm doing. If you, you remember me saying last time I came here, um, just shine torch in there a minute for us, bro. 
Um, I think explanation took the piss and said, oh, your bed's in here or something like that. Right, this used to be a children's home, guys. So why in the world is there, like... This, this used to be an, like an orphanage. So, like... Why... Are the bed, why are the rooms down here what look, essentially look like prison outside. cells? That's outside. Oh, mate, I, I didn't see that before. Let me have a look. That's freaky as fuck. Right. That's li literally, no, no need for any torches there. That's so, just outside, bro. I think that was their window, so we could get some fresh air. Oh, my God, mate, look at that. That's nowhere near our phones. No, I'm not spiking like that. Shit the bed. Does this open? No, because it's piped in the way. Which makes no sense. This is sketchy as fuck, mate. It's like the only way they could see light from the outside world and get a bit of fresh air. This is crazy. This is like a prison cell. It is a prison cell, look. And, and, and I expect like a... What's that? Like a shower or something? I've no idea, man. Something attached to that to like help them live let, or... Let, let's... um. Let, let's check the other rooms out, I and mean, then I think we're going to set up in, in this room here. That looks like an eating area. Like you'd have that to eat. Yeah, and then um, just put my torch on. I can, yeah. You've obviously got an old washing machine, mate. That's proper old, isn't it? Yeah. Mate, there's zero, there's zero electric in this building. This K2 meter's going off like crazy. So, by the looks of it, there is one isolation cell. And this would be like an exercise area. But pe people have been doing shit down there, mate. People have been doing shit loud yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah. This is um, one isolation cell, but it looks of it. This is why this is probably spiky. But guys, we're gonna go on to the paranormal now. And look, look, that's like to pump water. Look at that. It's pump water from the mains. Right, I'm going to gonna, um, I'm gonna set up in this room, guys. I'll pick it back Anyways, up. Guys, gonna... Right, guys, just picking it back up on the phone. Um, nearly, very, very nearly um, got set up, guys. So, like I said, uh, like Ryan was saying, undeniably... The thing what we have got our equipment on at the moment was indeed a bed at one point or another. Um, very strange. It's very, very, very sketchy down there. Like I said, one room, um, which, what, were it the, um, were it the punishment room, were it the naughty room, were it the, you know, did, did children get abused down there? I... I find this very sketchy, and this K2 meter, guys, I'll just quickly show you, has been going off its head since it's been down here. Nothing's interfering with it, look. No magnets, nothing, nothing. See what I mean? Crazy, isn't it? It's fluctuating, it's like, um, you know, it's not constant. I've got a comment in one of my previous pre premieres about... Um, you know, we're faking it, we're using magnets, stuff like that. We don't do shit like that. Right. Use it, Voxel. Go down there, Voxel. None of us are going to go near that. Spirits, if you are down here with us, please come forward and make your presence known. Please starting, guys. Please come down into the room. I've got a camera down there. And I'm recording on this. We've got Please please come down here with us. Come and uh, come and talk to us. Room pod. I don't know what that gadget's called, but it detects the the air amongst us, see if it gets cold, hot, what. Right, well that's basically a digital K2 meter with um a um room temperature thermometer thing built inside it. Mm. So but there we go. We've got cat balls. We've got another spirit tap as well. Spirit tap is fixed. It was broken. I've fixed it. So as you can see, it's not going off now at the moment. That one did, That one just did though. Put my uh, extension up a little bit. 
There we go. Spirit Tap's just gone off. Just going to point this light that direction, but it's not in my. There. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, spirits, I've got some cat balls here. Okay. But when I turn them on, I'm going to flash blue and red. Right? They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to do anything to you. They're just going to show us that you're here, essentially. So if you can kick them, throw them, move them, use your energy to move them. I'd really, really appreciate that. I'm going to stick one down here. In front of the cat ball. Um, in front of the music box. I'm going to stick one on this table. Um, hell, I'll stick a couple on the table. Probably a bad choice of words saying that then. Yeah, sorry. Shouldn't really be saying that word. Right, so when they stop flashing spirits, can you um, can you make them flash? Can you do it? Ooh, wrong device. Close. Would you be able? So the REM pod's not on yet, guys. So that's not going to go off yet. Is that you? Let me know you're here, spirit. How many spirits are down here? If there's more than one, can you make one of the um, devices beep again for me? Can you make it flash? That just went super red there. Can you set one of the cat balls off? Can you make the pyramid beep? The music box, you like a bit of music? Just targeting them two devices there. Thank you, Spirit. I've got an 84 at a minute. That occurred to me is going absolutely crazy. It's going wild, isn't it? And there's no magnets there, guys. No magnets. All legit. Everything you see on this channel is legit. And Ryan's, of course. Yeah. I don't fake anything. Oh, there's a lot of crap down here. Too much crap. Yeah. Just... That's why I've hung my coat up. Yeah, I've hung my bag over that, look. So, spirits, can I ask you to come forward, please? There's no need to be uh, afraid or shy. We're not here to harm you or disrespect you. I'm Kev, this is Ryan. If you'd like to come forward and uh, acknowledge your presence, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, the K. As I was going to say, this stuff here is okay. This is detecting the uh, the magnetic field from you. But what I'd really, really love is for you to set one of these other devices off. Can you make one of them flash blue and red? Or the music box go off? This place is a former children's orphanage. Am I right? Children's home slash orphanage. This place has been um, it's been derelict for a long time, a long, long time. So you you probably get a lot of people coming in here drinking and smoking and having parties, messing about, young young kids um, being disrespectful. I can't imagine it's nice for you. This is your home. I have had a look around the entire building. I've, I've been here previously. I don't know if you remember me. If you can remember me, can you make the device beep? I came with three of three other people last year. Okay. Did this used to be a prison cell? Was this a room where children was locked, locked up by the nuns? I think that was an undeniable yes, wasn't it, from the EMF reader there? Mm. It stopped and then went suddenly to red as soon as you said that. 
So the nuns used to lock people up down here. They used to do nasty things to them. Thank you, spirit. Did they use, does that make you angry that the nuns used to lock you up down here? Am I talking to a child or am I actually talking to a former member of staff? If I'm talking to a child, can you make that device beep again? Am I talking to a nun? Am I talking to a member of staff or a priest? Member of staff, I think. What kind of things used to go on down here? It looks a bit with just a concrete floor as well. Yeah. It's absolutely disgusting. I can't believe. Well, I can with world we live in, but shit like this shouldn't be going on. No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't exist. Locking children up down here. Right. Let's get a battery in. That's a bit of a better light, maybe not a How many children did we used to lock up in this room at any one time? Were it more than one? No. So it was one at a time? One at a time. That K2 is going nuts. K2's answering everything. Spirits, I invite you to come forward. I invite you to come forward and acknowledge your presence. The device with the aerial on it and the red light, you are more than welcome to go and touch it. Again, that's just another device that will let me know that you're here. That's going all the way up to 2 99 that. It's crazy, that. Spirit's here with us right now. For any evil spirits here. Well. Malevolent spirits. Evil. What the fuck? Well, thank you for confirming that spirit. Wow. As I said, guys, and as I've said in previous videos, and I will keep saying in all videos, you can't debunk this shit. This is uh, this has gone off. I seem to be having problems with this. I think I need some new batteries. So, spirits, I invite you to come in and make it colder. I invite you to gather round. Come and gather round myself, my friend here. I really appreciate you setting these devices off. Do you reckon you can uh, set one of the cat balls off as well? That'd be really good if you could make one of them flash. What I want you to do, is I want you to touch one of these, like I am now, 
and it will flash blue and red and then when it stops when this one stops I'd like you to make this one flash or one of the others flash that's okay do you not like what I'm asking do you not like me asking you to do things for it are you happy with us being here If, if you're not happy with us being here, just make everything you possibly can go as mad as you can. If you don't want us to be here. Only the inventory is going. 303. Now, um, in a recent premiere, guys, I had a couple of comments on, on Spirit Talker and uh, apparently people think it's bullshit. Uh, I've actually found it to be quite accurate in the past. It's actually come out with things um, only myself and West Audit Report have known. Um, it said our names umpteen times. So I'm going to start off with Spirit Talker and then move on to Necrophonic. So um, if you do wish to... Um, speak with the spirits um, i'm going to put an app on the phone um, it acts as a communication device between ourselves and you uh, so any messages what you've got you can push through psychically um and they will they will come from this phone with the messages will relay from this phone okay so i'm just about to put this on if you could let me know what your name is, first of all, that would be fantastic. So there we are, guys. Got spirit talker out. People can't hear me. People can't hear you. Well, we can now. Yeah, we're here now. We can hear you. We're, we're here to listen. Okay. Can you tell me what your name is, please, Spirit? So you don't want to give me a name, okay. You tell me how many people are here. Okay, two is just not stopping. Simmers down a bit, and then it starts starts going off its head again. Um, temperatures dropped from eighteen point six degrees. Down to 16.5. There's a drop. Emerge. Yes. Would you like to come and emerge? You can come into the room. Come to the light. Feel free to come and show yourself. Manifest. Uh, apparition. Let, you know, let's see some smoke. Knock, bang. Do something to... Um, Scare us if you wish. Nah, that's... I'm afraid that's not going to scare me, Spirit. I worked here. I worked here. So, so you did work here. Wow. So, was you a member of staff? Was you a nun? Am I speaking to somebody who used to look after the children? Did you used to look after the children?
Or is there any secrets you want to tell us about this place? Spirit, I'm going to ask you a question. Right, you, you say you worked here. I'm going to ask you a question and you might not like this question. Was children abused in this Watch room? Watch out, witchcraft. Watch out, witchcraft. They seen that on the wall around the corner, didn't they? Yeah. Okay, witchcraft. Okay, uh, back to the original question. Did children... I had an injury. Did children used to be abused in this room? Because I don't like this room. This this room has a bad vibes. It's creeper. It's not a really nice room, is it, spirit? So for children to be locked in here, screaming and crying themselves to sleep, I think that's terrible. Is that what used to happen down here? Did the members of staff used to abuse the children down here? If you are still outside the room, please do come in and join us. I've got a feeling there's, there's someone being a bit anxious coming in. Please come in and join us. Spirit, can you make the temperature drop? Concentrate. On what? Or is this a concentration room? I like it here. You like it here? Are you one of the people that used to abuse the children? Is that why you like it here? I don't know what's happened to my phone then. My bro. No. Something to your phone. Just turned off. You got a battery? Yeah. It didn't tell me it was dying Feathers. or nothing. Feathers. Well, well, it's turning back on. When an iPhone dies like that, normally it'll just come up with a battery at this point. But it's come up with the Apple logo. Guys, I'm genuinely not kidding. Right, that was me, but I'm genuinely not kidding. Like, it's come up with the Apple logo and it doesn't do that. Ah. When. It's still recording on whatever device. Yeah. Should be. Yeah, it's still recording on this one. Right, we're getting fluctuations in temperature now. Well, it's turned back on. Spirit, are you um are you playing with are you interfering with my friend's device? No, it's telling me it's on one percent, it's dying. What? It didn't, even, it didn't even tell me it was on 10% or 20% dying because I charged it in the car. What were it on? It was on like 25% when I started recording. Oh, mate. Been recording for 20 minutes. Did you, did you take the power from my phone to be able to play with these gadgets? If so, it's okay. I don't mind. Just wish it wouldn't always be me that it happened to. <laughs> Demand. 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 What would you like to demand, Spirit? I've got, I've got something in my hands. Okay. These what you call dowsing rods. Now, these are not always a hundred percent accurate, guys, and I don't believe I've used them in many paranormal videos, if any. I can't remember. Um, they do detect water underground and stuff like that, but 
they are very good for uh, paranormal research. Um, the spirits use them to control them and to uh, to give you answers. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're just going to give it a little bit of a go. Um, just before I start, can you see me on my screen? About the main right direction. Yeah, yeah, you crushed yeah. it there. You crushed it there. Nice one. Right. I wonder what I can see from mine. Oh yeah, I can see you as well. Perfect. So I'm going to set these up. Even though you're slightly behind that REM pod, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm going to set these up. We're going to get them leveled out, spirits. And um, I want you to move this one for a yes. Oh, sorry. I will give you the choice. So when I when I've set them up and I release them, I want you to to move the dowsing rods into a yes position. Excuse me, guys. I've I've, I've only used this a couple of times. So move. Explain the... this equipment. Yeah, this is what I'm explaining to you, spirits. So I want you to move the dowsing rods into a yes position for me. You move one of these dowsing rods into a yes position. So that's your yes position. Or that, that's the yes position. All right, okay. You move them into a position what will indicate no Nelly. move them to a position what will indicate no move the rods into a position what will indicate no right what's the same as before so this is trial and error, this guys. This is trial and error. Let's try this again. I was treated bad. Okay. We'll get to that in a moment. Can you move one of the rods into a position? Yes. In a direction for yes. It's not even you setting that off, it's on the other side of the REM pod. Yeah. This is not really working, is it? I don't think they understand, because I did ask you to explain whilst you was explaining. So Spirit, the equipment we've got, the REM pod, what you're making beep, what you're setting off quite a lot, this, this detects your presence. So every time you go near it, it'll beep and it'll make a sound, okay? This does the same thing. This does the same thing. If you touch these, they will flash, so will this. And if you go near this box down here, it will play a song. Earl. Earl. Who's Earl? Is Earl a, is Earl a um, spirit? Yeah, is Earl down here with us? If Earl's down here with us, can you move one of these uh, rods? There's a priest. There's a priest. Is there a priest down here? Can you move one of these rods into the position yes? Position yes. Right. Okay. Thank you for that. So, can you move one of the rods into a position of no? Position no. You move it into a direction of no. Period. Is there a priest down here with us? My voice is heard. It is. It is, your voice is heard. We are talking to you. 
Right, I'm not having any luck with these dowsing rods. Um, I've got something else I'm going to try. I don't pull, I, I don't pull this out right often, guys. I've got my pendulum. My name is back. Albert. We've got Albert down here as well. Albert, are you one of the little boys from this care home? Like I said, the dowsing rods, guys, trial and error. Um, not a big fan of them, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but I like trying different stuff. Yeah, you got to try, is not it? You got to try. Right. Got a bit pendulum on me somewhere. Seth, is that another little boy? Or is Albert the priest name? Seth is the little boy's name. So who's the priest? What's the name of the priest? Is the priest angry? Because I'm picking up on some angry feelings, some angry vibes at the moment. Not gonna be nice ones in here. Should assume. No, there's evil spirits down here. Well, the witchcraft has been mentioned. Yeah, they've mentioned witchcraft. That doesn't really bother me. No, it's not that. It's just that that that, that ends up opening a gateway for evil spirits and well, malevolent spirits and. There's probably some already down here, to be honest. There probably was. Probably there probably is, but. Uh, May I touch you? Which one of you you talking to? Whichever one. Guy, um, guys, uh, spirit, I'm going to hold my hand out, okay? I'm going to hold my hand out. And if you'd like to touch my hand, make the hand cold. Can you do that? Can you make my hand go cold? Can you touch my hand? Can you go past my hand? Is it my friend you'd like to touch? If you'd like to touch me again, do the same thing. Make my hand go cold. Or... Touch one of my fingers, make one of my fingers slightly move. I'm free to touch this hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You. So you wanted to touch me? You. Can you feel it? Yeah. He likes you. He, he likes you. He likes me. Oh, that's brilliant. Fantastic. That's awesome. What's his name? Who, who, who likes my friend Ryan? Wow. Did you just see that oh, then? Oh, mate. <laughs> Do you I... know what? Do you know what? I, I, I would keep on watching these TikToks, right? And your middle finger is the hardest one to move. How am I keeping my whole hand straight and moving it ever so slightly like that? That would, I wouldn't be able to do it. It's just move down and then move back up into position. Wow. And I've not done a single thing. No smoke and mirrors on this. On this on no, the honest, world, honest, honestly, guys. The woods. The woods. Yeah, there, is, the woods. there is some wooded area outside, a bit of wooded area. That was fantastic spirit. Thank you very much. I think you know what I've got in my hand now. I've got a pendulum. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you to make the pendulum swing side to side if you just made my friend's finger um, 
move. Now, make, just, just check me on that screen. Make sure you can see me on that screen. Because I'm not going to move at all. Yeah, can yep. see you, full right. body. You can see me, guys. I'm not going to move my hand at all. I'm not going to make me swing. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to ask the spirit, spirit, what's here? What touched my friend Brian? I'm going to ask you to swing the pendulum side to side. If it were you, what touched him? Made his finger move. Can you do that, please? Side to side. Can you make it go faster? Can you make it go faster? Touch, you, use the energy from my hand, spirit. Use the energy from my hand. What is connected to my energy? I'm touching your back. You're touching me back. I've got coldness on my back. Okay. And I keep on pouring Make it Make the pendulum go side to side faster. Guys, as you can see, I'm not moving my fucking hand one single bit. Right, now, now can you stop the pendulum? Can you bring it to a halt and can you make it go around in a circle? Can you, sir, can you make it go in a circle? There we go, that's fantastic. Keep going. Keep going. Use your energy. Use the energy. The energy what's going down into the pendulum from my body. Use that energy and make that pendulum go in a circle. Go on, come on, keep going. I was punished. Thank you very much, Spirit. Can you can you stop moving? My arm's starting to work and I need to stop. Can you make the pendulum come to a halt? Remove. Can you make the pendulum stop moving? There you go, guys. My hand didn't move once. Watch it a hundred times over. Thank you, Spirit. Do you know what? You was concentrating that I was watching you, you was concentrating that hard on your hand, specifically not moving. And then you was glancing down like that. that you, did, yeah. My hand did not move no. a I was single watching you. inch, did it? No. I was watching you. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate your um Thank you very the much. Pen pendulum for me and making it move. That's fantastic. Um I'm touching your back. So whose back are you yeah. touching? Is it yours? Well, when I'm here and everywhere no, else... I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I'm touching your back. No, I didn't. That might have been a different spirit what touched your back. Yeah. Um, it seemed like I had a cold draft on my back. I didn't say anything or do anything because there's like that slight... To be fair, I felt the same thing stood here. So it could be either one so of us. So it could be either one of us. I could be getting a draft from there and you could be actually getting touched on your back or vice versa. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I personally put that down to the window. That's why I didn't say anything previously. Right. This is fantastic. Um, we'll check the temperature now because this machine keeps going off. I really need to get some new batteries for us. <clears throat> Got a 13.2 now, and that, that device is cold. That device is cold. Spirits, what I want you to do is I want you to gather around and I want you to make it go even colder. Can you do that for me? Can you make it go colder? <coughs> okay, very funny. Touching my neck. The back of my neck, back of my neck. No, that's wrong. Hair's moved. No, that's wrong. Wow. I felt hair's moving on the back Spirit, of my neck. Are you, touch are you trying to interact with us by touching us? Spirit, I'm going to ask you nicely. I'm going to hold my hand out. And I'd really, really like for you to touch my hand. I want to, I want to physically feel the connection between myself I died suddenly and the spirit thank you you died suddenly sorry about that sorry spirit it's, it's sad that he died suddenly we will so I'm going to hold my hand out spirit I'd like you to touch my hand if you could really appreciate it just brush past it touch it or try and do the same thing you did with my hand yeah, my fingers are straight. Can you move my fingers? Or can you make it go cold? Rob, 
Roberts. Roberts. The hairs on your fingers are about stood up, mate. You make the hairs on me, I'm making me um, arms stand up, spirit. Put that coldness down to the fact that I was stood with my back against the window now. A few people don't like this app. This app is 100% legit. I know, but a few people don't like it. A few people keep on commenting for me to get it. Yeah. And the spirit talker. Oh, it's 100% legit, mate. People, people I mean, said. Debunk this. How come we talk to French ghosts yeah. in a Victorian shopping centre? I've said this. Talk to English ghosts and then go to Gibraltar like me and um, top abandoned places did and speak to Espanyols. Spanish ghosts. How? It's not possible, is it? If it's real, you get real situations. Spirit, is there anyone there? Does anyone wish to come through and connect? Yeah. Who's who? Who was that with the creepy voice? What's your name? Are you a poltergeist. Are any evil spirits down here with us? Children in here. Can the children come forward and talk? Spirits, can you just can you just step back and allow the children to come through and talk? Any children down here? I've heard, I've heard a couple of children on here. Spirits, can you let the children speak? Don't say no. Can you please allow the children to come through and speak? Children? How many children are down here with us? How many children are in this room with us right now? Or in this area. Free. Was that a free? There's the three children down here. Earlier on on Spirit Talk, a witchcraft were mentioned. And I've seen a um, what appears to be a Starry David on one of the painted on one of the walls. Has any witchcraft happened down there? Uh, 
Has there been any portals or vortexes down here with us? I'm going to keep saying free. Is any evil or malevolent spirits come through the, pop, the vortex? Are any evil spirits trapped down here with us? I'm just doing a piece to camera, I'll tell you in a bit. Children? Children, would you like to come forward and set the music box off? Would you like to come and set it off? Make the ball flash? Make any of these balls flash? How many spirits are down here with us now? How many spirits are down here with us? Can you give me a number? So we'll try and say six. If that's you trying to touch my back, please, I'm asking you to stop. Are you trying to touch my friend? Oh, God. Spirits, when I give you permission to touch me, to touch my hand, I don't need to give you permission to, to do anything else, yeah. okay? Back is on fire. You're back. My back is on fire. I've been for the last five minutes now. But it's all down this bit of my back here. Spirits, are you, are you trying to attack my friend? It's literally down this bit. Any marks? No. It's literally warm right here. You can feel it. I'm on where's my torch, I don't think I don't think you've got any marks there. <coughs> you probably feel how warm my back is. My back has been on fire. Right, I'm just that stop microphonic. Just that one piece of my back. It's if somebody's got like their hand on me there. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. keeping that one part of my back warm. Clear the cache on Spirit Talker um, and, and then put it back on. Surprisingly, don't seem to be getting a right lot from Necrophonic at the moment, but Spirit Talker has been quite accurate. Mm. This is what I'm talking about. It can, it can sort of change from pillar to post, it's weird. Spirit, have you got any messages? Would you like to come through with some messages for us? So we're going to have to leave in a minute, Spirit. We're going to have to leave because... We are, we are going to have to leave in a minute. So if there's any final messages, please come through the Spirit Talker.
Right, I'm just going to have a look on my uh, night vision camera before we chip. I would buy it really nice. As you can see guys, it's still got it all off, all out. Obviously got night vision on the go as well. So make sure you got a good shot. spirit. A good spirit. Is that what's keeping my back warm? A good spirit. Guys, it's been a mad one. Fall. Fall? Did someone fall down here? Still very mad, guys. But I'm going to end the video here. Um, we're going to wrap up and we're going to go. So I've got a train to catch. Um, obviously, you've got night vision on his camera. Yeah. But, um, so make sure you check his video out as well. Yeah. It's going to be a long one, but it's a mad one. It yeah, is it's a mad one. Definitely, uh, definitely not a long one, guys. But as you've seen from the uh, footage, it's, everything's been pretty accurate. Questions we've asked, um, the answers we've gotten to physical contact, to, to devices going off. Mm. Uh, this is definitely going to be a revisit job, guys. Call out. Definitely going to be a revisit job. Um, oh, yeah. Might be a three o'clock in the morning job, to be might honest. Be. But, um, yeah. That sounds exciting. But now, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. It's been a pleasure. Um, definitely going to come back and do a return visit um, at some point in the near future. Uh, go check Brian's page out, link will be in this uh, description. If you enjoyed it, like, comment and subscribe as always. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one guys. Bye for now.